Today I will show how I connected my Sunto Zoom Dive computer to my PC. The PC that I have is uh, running Windows 7 64-bit, so it's not overly too old. And um, the computer that I'll be connecting is the one I, I'm holding in my hands right now. And it is a Sunto Zoom. Um, it's pretty nice. It has two contacts on the back which allow connection to the, um, to the PC. The two parts that I used, oh, let me turn it on. First, um, two parts that I used is um, this USB to um, COM port adapter. You can find them for about $2 on the internet. And the part that goes between the adapter and the computer is you'll have to make, and this is what I made. It looks like this. It's a pretty simple circuit. Let me show you the circuit here. Um, the circuit is um, this one. It was uh, published by Rolly over 10 years ago uh, for a somewhat different model type, but it works perfectly fine for um, Sunto Zoop and uh, it works well with the uh, 64-bit windows. A um, couple of words on the circuit. Um, it's very, very simple. Um, it has uh, three transistors. I used, I didn't use these, these specific ones that are listed. Um, I used the most generic um, low voltage um, low current uh, transistors and um, the Zener diode, I didn't have the 4.3 volts, I had the 3.4 volts and uh, it worked just fine. Um, here in post-it notes I have, um, I just laid out my uh, my parts and I connected them with a pen just to see the traces and that corresponded to um, this uh, project board that I have here. Now, uh, the construction is very simple. I just took a project board, stuck it in, and in fact I didn't use any wires except for one here. Everything else is connected by the leads uh, from, from the components themselves. Um, the components are very cheap. They are probably under one dollar, uh, everything here. Now this part might be, um, if you don't have it, you may have to buy it, but I would assume everything is under five dollars or so. The tricky part is to connect um, these two wires to these contacts here on the back of the Sunta Zoop. And um, I didn't have anything in my box that looks suitable except for this. It had, um, this is a post. Um, originally I had three pins, I cut one off, so I uh, had only two pins left. And uh, there is a notch on the Sunta Zoop um, here and the uh, these contacts go in between this notch, so it actually stays in place. Um, you can hold it by hand like this. Um, it takes about a minute or so to download. Um, but if, uh, if you want, uh, you can uh, use a clip kind of like this, and uh, it will hold it in place. To start the downloading, I went to the menu. Um, I had to select the memory and uh, I believe um, the PC set is uh, one of the many options there. Once you select it, uh, it connects to the computer, it waits for the computer to connect. Uh, on the other side, I connect the uh, an adapter. This is a COM port to USB adapter and this part goes in the computer. Uh, so now I'm ready to connect and I'll show you what software I, uh, I use because a lot of software uh, didn't work. And at the end, once you connect it and download the, um, uh, the, uh, the dive profiles and the information about past dives, you can actually print pretty nice uh, looking charts, um, your depth, your temperature, and if you add more information about the weights and everything in the program, it will actually print it. So there are different options um, how you can how you can print um, your logbook. Now, let's uh, let's see the software. The first software package I tried using was uh, Sunto Dive Manager 4 from Sunto.com. This is the latest um, uh, manager software. It's pretty simple. Um, it says that you need to have your dive computer connected before it ca you can use it. Clicking connection gives you an option to select different um, 
types of dive computer, but there is really nothing else uh, in terms of selecting a COM port. So it really doesn't work with a COM port here, as I understand. Um, so nothing happens if you just have um, your dive computer connected through a COM port. It doesn't really have any samples. Um, so I decided to get the older version. So the older version was uh, 3.1, I believe. So this is how it looks. Um, now the older version, 3.1.0, does allow you to select the COM port. You can click Next, and that's what I did. This was my um, USB to COM port converter, um, currently connected uh, to COM8, which uh, gets automatically selected from the available ports. Now, after waiting for some time, uh, I, I get this message, device not found. So basically, it didn't work. But the older version does come with uh, several samples of uh, dive logs and you can see here um, click through and uh, see what you can do with them you can um, uh, sort them by dive computer you can um, see the notes you can disable certain uh, graphs charts uh, like the temperature for example graph It also has uh, something like bookmarks here. Not sure how you use it. Different tabs show different settings again. You can add more details about a dive. This looks like a pretty robust program. So another program I tried was this uh, Sunta Communicator. It's um, written by Liquid Image Photo and uh, allows you to select a COM port, but it, in my case, again, it didn't work. Um, I was getting this searching for devices and then finally I get this error that um, device not found. Um, not many options to pick from. Um, here's, uh, here's the version, version 2.0. It's pretty recent, 2012. The tabs are not really useful unless you connect to the computer. And again, in my case, having a Sunta Zoop didn't work. So played around with this program, didn't work, so closed it and um, tried another program. It was XML Download Explorer by the same Liquid Image Photo that allows uh, selecting a COM port. And um, this is a program that is actual wrapper for a command line version of the program called uh, Sunto XML. So this wrapper allows you just to construct this uh, pretty, um, well, it's not complicated, but it's uh, uh, easier to construct the, uh, all the parameters for the COM port. And when you click launch, the command line that was constructed launches the Sunto downloader, which is a Sunto XML.exe. And um, depending on the computer type that I have selected all there, um, it goes through different types of computer. It tries to detect them and uh, download the data. And in my case, again, it um, it didn't didn't work. So uh, then I tried uh, this program. This program is not for downloading. It's actually for converting uh, Gecko to Viper uh, dive computer but it allows connecting to a COM port. Well, here it actually did work, surprisingly. So you can go back and uh, connect the computer and it says device found and setting computer type, and then it says finished. So basically this um, confirmed that the communication between the computer and, um, and the dive computer was, was good. So this was a good test to run. So then finally I got to the program called Subsurface. It's, a, it's an open source program Here's how it looked. I already downloaded some dives. You select the menu, download from the dive computer. Pick your dive computer. Sunto Zoop is listed here. The COM port is also available. And if everything is good, you get your dives downloaded within a couple of minutes. So I'll cancel it here because I already have everything downloaded. So if, even if you mess up, um, don't worry, you can try again. Um, the dives do not get deleted from, uh, from the dive computer. So here you can click through the dives, see the different profiles, uh, the centrate, uh, the temperature. 
in my case, it's again, soon to zoom is pretty simple. You can um, zoom in, zoom out. You can go through different tabs, add the cylinders, weight, whatever you want. Other information you can print. Um, it, uh, it works uh, fairly well. It's uh, pretty stable. Um, no complaints there. And this program allowed me to download all the, <clears throat> all the dives from the Suntu Zoop computer using a home-built um, COM converter cable. So a few menus here to look at. Um, it does export uh, files to UDDF. It's um, very easy to read XML file, a few more preference, and like I said, it's a very reliable program and works really well. And you can see it.